In this video we're going to demonstrate how to remove valve stem seals. You see the valve stem seal down inside of there? This is a valve stem seal that we pulled off of this valve stem here on this cylinder head. To do that you use this pair of pliers and it grabs the valve stem seal like this. So it goes right at the bottom of the valve stem seal and then you pull Sometimes you have to pull and wiggle a little bit, and it should pull them right off of there. You'll also want to be aware that there are little shims, little steel shims. At least in the uh, aluminum cylinder heads, there's always a, a metal shim underneath of the valve spring. And it's got to come off too, or else you'll lose it. So with a magnet, pull that shim out. And save that, don't lose those. Those are very important. Now this is one common area where a lot of people forget when going back together. They'll install the new seals and forget to put these on first. And usually, if you have to pull the seals back off, you ruin them and have to go through another set of seals. So don't forget to put these back on. What it does is it protects this aluminum cylinder head from the valve spring. So as the valve spring is turning and going up and down, it doesn't wear into the aluminum. So you need that steel shim under there. On some engines, you have to have the seals off before you can pull the shims out. On others, the shims will just fall out on their own. They're hard to replace if you lose them, so don't lose them. Also, if you get a valve stem seal that is difficult to pull off, this pivots so that you can pry. Just be careful not to damage your cylinder head. If I use a rag or something right there, I can pry up. And pry the valve stem seal off in that way. So get the valve stem seals off and then make sure you take the shims off. This is another type of valve stem seal. It's got the seal and the shim that goes under the spring basically built into one piece. And they can't be pulled off with those red pliers. And so I'll show you a couple of ways that you can pull these off. Usually needle nose pliers or some type of plier works well. I don't know if I can get down there as you can see that. But grabbing right on the edge of that seal making sure not to get down into the guide to, to ruin the guide. Just grab the seal with the pliers and twist and pull, just like that. So I also, I also want to take a minute and show you how to reinstall a valve stem seal when it comes time to put these back on. So you take the new seal, obviously this is an old one. You wouldn't ever reuse an old one, but I'm doing this just for the purposes of showing you how to put these on. You've got the guide down here, so we'll drop it down onto the guide. If you have the separate, the two-piece seal, where you've got the seal and the shim that are separate, make sure you put the shim on, then drop the seal down onto the guide. In some cases, you can almost push them on with your fingers, but most of the time, to make sure they're seated, I use a 10 millimeter socket. This is a quarter inch drive 10 millimeter socket with an extension on it. And I just set that over the end of the seal, and I tap it. You can tell when it's seated. Don't hit it too hard or you can damage the seal, but just make sure that it's seated all the way down. The reason I like a 10 millimeter socket is on most seals, that socket fits right over the rubber part and pushes against the metal piece of the seal so that it pushes it straight on. Just a good fit. <laughs> 